All right, everyone, it is 5 p.m. on Monday. So it is time for abs, core, and mobility. Um, as always, I'm Brittany. I'm here to take you through this. So the workout is in the chat. Um, just like we've been doing the past couple of classes, we have uh, two different sets. One's a little bit longer and one's a little bit shorter. Um, so we got 15 minutes of abs straight up, not much of a break, and then we will stretch. Um, so this first round, we're gonna go through three different times. Each one, each exercise, there's six of them, is going to be 30 seconds long. Um, so we'll go through those without much of a break. So we have frog sit-ups, scissors, reverse planks, dead bugs, bicycles, and squat shoulder to opposite knee. If you've been coming to class, uh, you probably know some of those. Um, and what you don't know, just follow along. We were, we're gonna go through it three times. Okay, so we are starting with those frog sit-ups first. So frog sit-ups are first. We've done these the last couple of classes. Um, so we will get right to it. Um, okay, make your way onto your back if you're not already there. Camera down. Okay, we are starting with feet together, knees out to the side. And here we go in three, two, one, and 30 seconds of frog setups. Exhaling as we come up, we're trying not to let the feet come off the ground. Arms are coming overhead as we come down. You can get a little momentum, not too much. We have scissors coming up next, but five sec more seconds of frog sit-ups. Three, two, one. Arms are by our side. We're going into scissors. Our one leg and then the other. Trying to keep our legs as straight as we can. Only bringing the leg as far down as you can go without your back getting angry at you. We have reverse planks coming up next. Three, two, and one. All right, reverse planks. Hands are by our hips. We're digging the heels into the ground, squeezing, lifting the hips, looking up towards the corner of the room or the ceiling. Keep lifting and squeezing, pushing that ground away, pulling that belly button towards your spine. Doing great. Dead bugs are next. Three, two, one. All right, we're on our back. Dead bugs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Working on coordination with this one. Belly button's getting pulled to, towards your spine. Great job. Keep that coordination going. We have bicycles coming up next. Three, two, one. Bicycle crunches. Opposite knee to opposite shoulder. Great job. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Moving intentionally, working all our abs. We're standing up in two, one, standing up, squat, knee to opposite shoulder, squat, knee to opposite shoulder, keep it going. Some days I'm taller than others, apparently. God, move that camera up, nice. All right, this is the last one in our set and we're up to frog sit-ups next. Five seconds, try and get one more rep in on each side. Nice, down to the ground, frog sit-ups. Minimal break. Try and flow right into it. We're going for as many reps as we can with this one. Try not to use too much momentum. 
making sure we're using our muscles. Scissors are coming up next. Two, one, and scissors. Legs are straight and we're switching. Switching in place, try and keep those legs as straight as you can. I know it's a little hard after sitting all day, but you've got this. 10 seconds to go, doing great. Reverse planks are next. Three, two, one, reverse planks. Hands are by our hips. We're lifting and squeezing the glutes. Gaze is towards the corner of the room. We're not letting our head fall back. We wanna maintain some integrity through our neck. Great job, keep pushing the ground away. Make sure those knees are pointing towards the ceiling. Dead bugs are next. Two, one, and dead bugs. We're on to our back. Opposite arm, opposite leg. How you doing? Are you still breathing? Hope so. Focus on that coordination with this one. Bring in your belly button toward your spine. We have bicycles next. Doing great. And let's go right into bicycles. Minimal break here. Going right into it. Keep those elbows wide. We're bringing knee to opposite shoulder. Good job, good job. Keep it going, we're standing up. Squat, knee to opposite shoulder after this. Two, one, and let's stand up. Feet are nice and wide, hands are behind our head. We're standing up very explosively. Great work, make that squat. Very explosive, we're driving the knee up towards the ceiling. We got one more round of this whole set. You're doing great. Two, one, we're back on the ground. Frog sit-ups. Last round. Doing great, way to work hard. Ten seconds here, stick with it. You've got this, use those exhales. Three, two, one, scissor kicks. Hands are down by your side or underneath your hips. You'll see that my legs aren't perfectly straight. My ham hamstrings are tight. And we'll be sure to stretch those out after this. Nicely done, doing great. We have reverse planks coming up next. Three, two, one, reverse planks. All right, put those hands by your hips. Lift and squeeze the glutes. This one is challenging. If it's a little hard on your wrist, that's okay. This is definitely the opposite position that our wrists are in throughout the day usually. So it takes some getting used to. We've got dead bugs next. Keep squeezing, keep lifting. Two, one, dead bugs. Being as intentional as we can with this movement. No wasted motions with this one. We talk to sit a lot. Try and get a few more reps on each side before we go into bicycles. Two, one, and here we go. Bicycle crunches. <sighs> Keep breathing. We only have one more exercise after this and then we get a break. So push hard. This one you can go a little faster on. 
Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and we're standing right into those squats. Inhale down, explosively exhale up. Working those obliques, abs, hip flexors, so many things. Almost there, this one should leave you breathless. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. That is the end of our first set. Go ahead and grab some water. All right, we have one more set to go. It's in the chat. Four exercises this time, four mats kind of the same. We're gonna go through it three times. Four exercises, so we have bird dog twists on our right, then we have bird dog twists on our left. You probably don't know bird dog twists. I'm not, I'm not even sure what this exercise is called, so watch me first. I'll demonstrate it before we get started. And then we have V-sits, and then we have plank to pike. So those two we've done a lot. Just follow along with me, they're pretty easy to get. Bird dog twists. I'm going to demonstrate this one from the front because you'll see me doing it from the side when we actually go into it. So quick side view. I'm extending my left leg straight line from hip to knee to heel. So from the front, my left leg is extended. My right hand is going behind my head. Without letting that left leg move, we're going to open up that right elbow, and then we're gonna touch right elbow to left elbow. Opening up, touching right elbow to left elbow without letting that leg wobble side to side or hips wobble side to side. It's harder than it looks. So when I say right, it means right elbow on top. When I say left, it means left hand behind your head, twisting through the left elbow. Follow along, it gets, can get a little tricky. All right, starting with bird dog twists on the right. Hands and knees, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Two, one, extend that left leg and we're twisting. This is definitely one of those that looks a lot easier than it is. You can probably see me wobbling all over the place. If you need to set that big toe down as a kickstand, to do the movement a little bit better, feel free. Still getting a good workout. Switching sides in two, one. All right, let's extend that right leg. Left hand comes behind and we're twisting. Nice. This one isn't about going fast, it's about being stable. So remember wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Sometimes it's hard to tell where you're at, so feel free to adjust. We're going into V-sits in two, one. Flip it over, V-sits. So this is a lot like those frog sit-ups we just did. So we're also lifting our legs up. Try and lift both legs at the same time. Personally, I think that's the hardest part. Everyone's different though. We have plank to pike in two, one. Flip it over again. Plank to down dog or pike. You come from a yoga background. This is probably down dog. If you're coming from gymnastics or diving, this is definitely a pike. Lots of names, all the same thing. All right, two, one, bird dog twister next, left leg out, right hand behind, and we're twisting as best as you can while staying stable. There's probably one side that wobbles a lot. 
That's pretty common. Most of us have some kind of asymmetries, I know. I do, and the rest of my team does as well. And switch sides. Remember, you can put that big toe down as a kickstand, get your balance, and then go right back into those twists again. Be very intentional with this one. V sits are next, try and get one or two more. And flip over V sits right into it. Good job, use that breath. Try and exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down with control. All right, we have plank to pike in two, one. Let's go ahead and flip it over, plank to pike. Try and hang out in that plank for a minute or two or not a minute, a second or two. Try and find your abs, find your glutes before you push back into that down dog. Less than 10 seconds. And then we have one more round of this. Two, one, come down. Last round of bird dog. So left leg out, right hand behind, here we go. Pull those abs in. We want to think about keeping our hips as still as we can. Imagine you're balancing a foam roller on your hips and you don't want to let it move. And switch, other side. We're almost done with this one. Keep reaching through that heel. Imagine there's flashlights on the front of your hips and you want those flashlights pointing down towards the ground at all times. We're only twisting through the upper spine. Two, one, flip it over. We got v sits. Only two more exercises left and then we can stretch. Great job out there. Don't give up now. There's a lot of endurance with our core that we're doing, but we're all better off for it, especially when it's hard. Two, one, let's flip it over. Point to pike, last one of the day. You've got this. Find those abs and then push it back. Find those abs, push it back. So hopefully this pike is a little bit of a rest. That's the idea. Fingers wide, keep your weight in your thumb and your index finger. Two, one, and we are done with abs. Whew. Good work, everyone. Short and, well, not too short. That was a solid 15 minutes of work. So great work, everyone. Thanks for coming. I see a lot of people are dropping out. So let's go ahead and call it a day with just abs rather than stretching. I know Mondays are busy. So we will see you all at 4.30 on Thursday. Same idea, lots of abs, and then we stretch. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.